In classic good guy Kev fashion, I have somehow procrastinated making this video so much that I am recording this the night before it's scheduled to go up. But I'm making this video because one of the most common questions that I've received both in my comment section and my stream chat is how to make money in Skyblock. That is the golden question that seemingly everyone wants to know. And that makes sense because who doesn't like money, right? My college roommate once told me that there are three fundamentals to life. Clout and the bag. And today, we will be chasing that bag. There are so many money-making methods in Skyblock, and I don't think I will ever have enough dedication to be able to make a video that covers every single one of them. However, I did want to make a video that could cover a wide range of money-making methods from early game all the way to late game so that I can cover methods that are accessible to as many of you as possible. Which is why for the past 6 or 7 hours, I have forced my dungeon perm party to test some of the best money making methods in Skyblock, ranging from early game all the way to late game. Hello, it's me, Good Guy Kev, interrupting your Good Guy Kev viewing experience. This video took nearly 20 hours to complete altogether, so if you find my videos to be at least mediocre, you can always subscribe. If you don't like my content, then don't subscribe that's kind of how it works also if you'd like to talk and have some conversations with me or just have any general questions i have a discord server you can join we're not weird like 32 percent of the time okay maybe more like 15 anyways back to good guy kev oh wait that's me the earliest method this video will show is zealot farming the most iconic way to generate money in skyblock so let's have a small chance to drop summoning eyes used to summon dragons in the end and sellable on the bazaar. They can also drop crystal fragments used to craft catalysts. The only requirements are the ability to one-shot zealots and high speed. You need to be able to one-shot zealots for this method to be efficient at all and high speed to move around the end dimension as quickly as possible. You can combine the use of a god pot and full young dragon armor to achieve 500% speed and players should aim to be able to do this within their first week of skyblock. TJ and I used the Terminator, while Nez used an Aspect of the Void, Fugle used a Frozen Scythe, and Eli used the Juju Shortbow. Please note that gear didn't play a huge role as we were killing Zealots at a pretty similar frequency, and Zealot grinding is very heavily RNG based. Another benefit of Zealot grinding is being able to leech any dragons that are summoned or kill golems that spawn for additional profit. Within an hour, between me and the four other per members, we got an average of about 3.8 eyes an hour. PJ was able to obtain a legendary golem pet from an endstone protector he had slain, and I managed to leech first place on a protector dragon that had spawned. Our average profit with everything included totaled to about 5.6 million coins an hour, but realistically this method makes anywhere from 3 to 4 million coins, depending on your efficiency and RNG. The second money making method likely will not make as much as zealots, but it yields a consistent amount and doesn't rely on RNG at all. Sludge farming. Sludge juice is used in a variety of recipes to make mining-based equipment and can be sold on the bazaar. The minimum requirement is Heart of the Mountain 3 to enter the Crystal Hollows, a jungle pickaxe, and enough mining speed to instantly break hardstone, which is about 1500. As long as you're in the jungle and using a jungle pickaxe, you will obtain sludge juice from the blocks you break. Doing this, you can also gain gemstone and mithril powder by opening chests that spawn, if that is something you intend on going for. Each of us mined for an hour, and after that hour, we averaged 1,548 sludge juice and about 1.5 million coins an hour. On top of this, PJ, Fugle, and Nez averaged 181 enchanted hardstone, which totals about 570,000 coins. Overall, this method should make you about 2 million coins an hour. The next method moves us into the mid-game stage of progression of Skyblock, and yet again involves the Crystal Hollows. Worm Fishing. Fishing up flaming worms allows you to obtain worm membranes, which are used to forge several different mining tools. The requirements for worm fishing are Heart of the Mountain 3 and Fishing 19 in a very specific location to fish. You must be in the Precursor Remnants portion of the Crystal Hollows and above Y equals 64. If both of these are met, you can fish flaming worms out of any lava pool you find. I have a video that goes into the specifics of worm fishing if you'd like to check that out. All three of us used full shark scale armor and rod of the sea and were able to get an average of about 83.6 worm membranes in an hour's time, netting us a mean value of about 4.9 million coins. Bro, how the fuck are you supposed to go to a pawn axe with a fucking battle axe? <laughs> yeah. It was normally like, yeah, I found this. Uh-huh, yeah. I found this. Finally, we move into dungeons content. My perm and I ran the fifth floor of master mode for an hour, 
but drops from the normal difficulty floor 5 are identical to Master Mode, other than Master Stars and Master Skulls. Enchanted books such as Legion and Overload can be several hundred thousand in profit, and are fairly common in the chests at the end of the dungeon. All of our runs were S score, but you can get the additional Bedrock chests with a score of S+, granting you a slim chance to drop the Shadow Assassin chestplate for about 12 million coins profit. Nez pulled a third Master Star during the hour, skyrocketing his profit per hour close to 30 million, and if you include Nez's RNG drop, we got an average of about 9 million coins an hour. Not including Nez's RNG drop, the rest of us got an average of only about 2 million coins an hour, but you have to remember that you're gaining Catacombs XP during the entire duration. Master Mode Floor 5 gives about 130,000 XP per S run, and the normal Floor 5 gives anywhere from 6 to 8,000 XP. Stepping into the later game of Skyblock, we entered the highest floor of the Catacombs, Floor 7. Floor 7 is by far the most profitable floor out of the normal Catacombs, having the possibility to grant the Necrons Handle, an item with a profit margin of over 700 million coins at the time of recording. Other drops such as Precursor Eyes and Soul Eater Books also add up, and a Wither Chest Plate is a solid amount of profit as well. Throughout the one hour of Floor 7 we did, PJ managed to pull a 1 for all book for 6 million profit, and Fugle got a Wither Chest Plate for 8 million profit. Altogether, we managed to make, on average, about 6.7 million coins in an hour, while also getting 35 to 40,000 Catacombs XP per run. For our final money-making method of the video, I want to cover a method that's absolutely carried the net worths of several members of my perm party, as well as my current go-to method for money in Skyblock. Frag running. You should have a Catacombs level of about 28 and own a Juju Shorpo at the very least. However, for maximum efficiency, you should own a Wither Blade such as a Scylla or Hyperion, and a mana set like Storm or Necrotic Maxor. While doing this method, PJ and I both used 3 fourths Maxor with Wither Goggles, a Hyperion, and a Black Cat pet to increase our speed as much as possible. Nez used the same setup, but with a Sheep pet instead. Drag running is simple. Clear every room necessary to get to the Blood Room, kill the Giant in it to get its drop, and restart and repeat over and over again. The Diamond Giant, which has a 25% chance of spawning, has a high chance to drop the Diamante's Handle, which can be sold on the Auction House from 1 million coins and up to 1.5 million coins in high demand. Other drops such as Livid Fragments and Bigfoot's Lassos are not worth nearly as much, but add up quickly. This was by far the best money-making method we tested, with Nez making a whopping 15 million coins during his hour of frag running. Between the three of us, we made an average of about 12 million coins an hour. I hope each and every one of you finds the greatest success in chasing the bag after viewing this video. Okay, bye.